Today we are at the Benque Viejo Public Library and we see some young people. I believe they are doing some tutoring to other young people. So young people with young people, let us first of all get to know one of the tutors. And your name is? Hi, my name is Atomi Garcia. Uh, Ms. Garcia, tell us, how did you uh, come to assist students here? Um, so, I heard they were going to do some tutoring, so I said, okay, well, um, I have free time in the evening, so I will go and help, mm -hmm. because helping others and helping the community, because how they say, you know, um, that young people are the future for the country. So I said, if I know, well, I can help some um, young persons to become more intelligent and more um, interested in, in education. Okay, so how do you feel uh, being here, giving your, your free time and assisting them in some school work? Well, I feel proud of myself and proud to be a Belizean because um, I know that there are many young persons like me that would like to help others so that we can be a better country and have and give our young ones a better future. What would you tell to those young people out there in Benque Viejo who have free time in your hands? I would like to invite them to um, get more in life to come more together with like young people like us and help others to get engaged in these types of talk so that we can um, grow um, in union and be a better country, Thank a better belief. Thank you. Let's move on to another young lady here. Hi everyone, my name is Nashla Ortega. Nashla, what prompted you to come and assist these young people in during your free time? Well, I'm studying for primary education, so I said, like, this is a chance for me to practice and help others on doing their assignments and helping them on understanding more the concept. And also, it's a practice for me for um, for, the, for my future. Okay, so you're a future teacher, we yeah. could say. <laughs> no? So how do you feel now, um, like, being like a teacher? Well, today. it feels great as I can help the younger children mm -hmm. on um, helping them on understanding and giving them my knowledge. Mm -hmm. um, and well, that's it. Yeah. So what, what uh, are you dealing with it right now? Right now I'm dealing with um, division concepts. Division she, concepts. Uh -huh. She's learning how to get, um, here we have some letters and she's learning how to get the answers. Right here, see? Okay. She's yes. learning how to divide, multiply, and everything. So let, let's ask this young lady here. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel with Ms. Ortega being like a tutor, a teacher to you? Good. Yes. <laughs> so um, you're learning the concepts, we, we should say? Yes. Uh -huh. So she's a good teacher? Yes. Okay. So you get a, a good recommendation already. Mm -hmm. So uh, what would you say or tell the young people out in Benke or Socrates who have free time? Well, if you have a free time, you could um, use that time to help others. Use it, um, like, um, just do, don't waste your time. Help others, be kind, help them in everything you can. And well, it's, it just feels great helping others. Okay, thank you, Ms. Artega. As we move on, we see more. Let's go here. We, we see a young man on this side before we... Talk to the other ladies. Okay, we have this young man here. Hi guys, uh, my name is Roberto. Um, Roberto. I teach English to the kids and some math. Okay, so your your strengths are in English and math. Well, actually more in English. More, more English. Yeah. Okay, so um, how did you come to be helping here today? Well, I see a lot of kids around the street that are normally not into studying. And then I decided to help because some of them are struggling in school. Some of them don't. Some parents don't have the time to teach them. So I take my free time and come here and help them out. So how did you hear about this program? 
I had one tutoring. Of, I had um I had a teacher from my high school at Montpan Technical High School, and she told me to come give a hand, and I was glad to come here. You're glad to be here. Yeah. For this. Remember, this is a volunteer work, huh? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yes. Uh, what message do you want to give to young people out in Benke or in the surrounding villages? Well, or anywhere in Belize. Well, life seems to be easy, but it's not. And as kids, we see that life is easy here because our parents give us a hand and everything. But actually, when we grow up, we have to make our own stuff, our own money. So why not start by learning here? We, you got the help. Why don't come? And I'm here to help anyone. And I won't judge if you have a wrong answer. Instead, I will help you until you get it. So you are being patient with this young of course. children here who are are doing all the work they, when they could have been watching TV, right? Yes. But you are here? Yeah. And how do you feel being here with these tutors doing your math or English? I feel great. You feel great? Good. Are you learning your concepts here in your English yeah. and math? What do you want to tell the other children in Binke or Sokots? To come here and this, this um, helping is making the children learn. Alright, that's nice. And so we have here one, one of the other tutors. Your name? Hi, my name is Maria Chan. Um, I am teaching math. Okay. Maria, how did you come to know about this program? Uh, I got um, notified by a teacher. Okay. Um, Which school is that? Mopan Technical. Oh, you are a student at Mopan Technical. Yeah. Uh, which, which grade level are you? Uh, third form. Third form. Okay. And uh, so you volu you're volunteering your time here? Yes. Okay. And what are you helping the children with? Uh, right now I'm helping this student that doesn't know how to write his numbers. He's an infant one. Infant one? Yeah. And he's having problems with writing his numbers. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, Maria, on the, what message would you like to give all those young people out there who might be at home watching television or playing with, with some games? Instead, Instead of, of playing games, you can help students that don't, um, don't have the help of their parents. And instead of spending their time with video games or watching TV, you can come and help. Okay, so how, how do you feel being here? When you could be at home also with your legs crossed and watching television. Well, I feel good helping others. So how long are you going to be doing this volunteer work? I think until June. Till June? Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you. And we have here also Miss Kathy Jones. Miss Jones, tell us about this tutoring program. How did it come about? Well, as a teacher, I received many... Uh, phone calls or messages from parents who wanted me to assist their kids, but I've been busy with my own work as well, and um, I had parents calling me, Miss, how do, how, how do I do this, how do I explain this to my child, and so the idea was born. Actually, we had been doing this with the library, uh, um, in conjunction with the library, for some, year, you know, some years ago, um, and so it came back again to my mind that especially at this time of COVID, for us to help out many parents and their children as well who are in need of this assistance. And um, I spoke with the area rep, Honorable Espat, who was very welcoming of the idea. He said that it's a very good initiative and he um, offered to... Well, the, the, the tutors here are volunteers, but uh, Mr. Espat offered to give him a, a small stipend because of the, the time that they're dedicating to helping other kids. Um, and of course, since we had been working with the library, well, Miss Miriam from the library had also given her support with this endeavor, and that is how this came to be. And we've had several kids coming in different days. Um, due to COVID, of course, we can't have many of the kids as we would like, but we have enough for each tutor to deal with. And the kids are, are, are doing good. Um, Yesterday, one of the parents was telling me that she is really very thankful um, for this because it's helping her, it's helping her child, and the child himself says that he's very happy that he's getting this assistance from the tutors. Okay, and uh, how long will this program continue? 
it should be until the beginning of June, but we shall see how it goes about with the reopening of schools and see if we need to modify our hours or the time that we're going to continue doing this activity. All right, thank you. You're welcome. And uh, we're looking for Miss Miriam. Miss Miriam is right here, is the librarian. <laughs> And always very helpful, Miss Miriam. Tell us about this program that Miss Kathy and the rep and the library you are doing in conjunction to help young people. Well, um, we have been working for the past um, years um, trying to help young people. You know, that, um, as you know, it's a um, it's a public library and it's a uh, very um, uh, we have resources here that are available to the children and they could uh, use. And since this um, pandemic, um, uh, um, there are many children that don't have that opportunity at home. So they are seeking other forms how they could benefit themselves because um, they have to accomplish all their package of time. And, uh, and well, it's sad to say that many parents can assist them in that uh, manner, no? So, as you know, the libraries have been working in transforming and uh, helping communities um, since 1935, and we are here to assist in any way, and so we, we encourage um, other um, youths, if they need help, to, to find the library, and we will be willing to assist them, although, um, still using the protocols since we're still facing this um, COVID-19. But um, we are here for you and we might not um, be able to have all of you in in one um, day, or but we mm -hmm. will accommodate them. So they can come here, apply and yes. uh, find a way to, because I see some space over there. Yes, we so have we can the still, space. We have I the think space. there's a big enough space here. You can notice this is a Binky Bihol library. Yes. And, uh, yes, we have the space, and as I mentioned, we will try to find an hour a day to accommodate them as they need. But we'll see this program will run for two months, but we will see if school reopens, okay. and, yes. uh, but we will try to continue it. And probably have more tutors. Yes. Given yes. the volunteer, yeah. doing a volunteer work, no? Mm -hmm. Okay, Ms. Miriam, thanks a lot. Okay, welcome.